Did you know that you can add classes to Elements in ShowIt? Yes, you can. I'm gonna show you how to do that and give you a cool little snippet that'll add some blur to your background. You ready? Let me show you. So in Show It, if you click on any element, it's gonna bring up a whole bunch of little panels on the right hand side. This allows you to manipulate things, do some really fun stuff to them. But if you look down at the very bottom that says advanced, click on that and then click add. Now you can add classes to your Show It elements. This opens up a whole new world of possibilities for your Show It designs and things that you can do with CSS, with JavaScript, with all that good kind of stuff. But you might be saying, but Chris, I don't know how to do the code stuff. And that's all right. I'm here to give you a simple little tool that will help you blur the background of anything underneath an element. Let me show you what I'm talking about. On this website that we're about to roll out, it's a template that's gonna be on the Show It Marketplace. If I scroll down, this little menu slides out. And then if you see, I, when I scroll over something, it doesn't just uh, fade it out. It kind of blurs it at the same time. Let me give you another example of something that's a little more prominent. This is another website that I've worked on. If I click on this button right down here, stay updated, the entire background becomes a little blurry. Now, this is great for instances where you want to kind of capture people's attention. So you have them in like a modal window and you want to make sure that they're just looking at the modal window and they're staying focused because you want them to fill out a form. Let me show you how I did this. I'm going to take it back to show it. And we're going to do this on our forms because it's a fun little trick. So I'll come down all the way down here. If I hit edit, sign up. So this is the modal window that you'll see anytime you click on create your site. So right now we've had it kind of dark. So it, we're, we're keeping people's attention a little bit, but we want to go even a step further. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to add a rectangle and I'm going to make this the full size of this canvas, right? So whatever the size is, it's going to be that size right there. So let's see, the height is 394 and the width is 1200. So we'll just make sure that that's what this is, 394 and the height and width is 1200. We want the X and Y coordinate to be zero and zero. So on the very tippity top and to the very Liffity left. Okay, sorry. Keep keep working with me here. All right. So this is a canvas that is going to grow with the size of the window. So it's going to be the entire size of the browser's window. And so we want to make sure that this grows with the canvas itself. So we're going to vertically lock it and then we're going to horizontally lock it at the same time. So I'm going to click preview before I make this go live. And we're going to just test and make sure that this is working the way that I would anticipate that it works. So hit create your site. There's that black uh, rectangle and we know that it's it's working well. So now we want to do a couple of things. I want to make a click action so that anytime somebody clicks on this, it's actually going to hide this site canvas. So if you've ever had a modal window that pops up and you're like, I can't find the X and I just want to click off of it to make it go away. That's the kind of thing that we're, we're doing right here. Another thing that I want to do is I want to take this uh, color and I want to bring down the opacity. So I want to make it a little opaque so people can still kind of see through it, but just not a ton. The other thing I want to do is I want to take this canvas background and actually want to make it transparent. Right now, it's got that black faded out color to it, but we're going to take care of that by using this rectangle instead. So now my final steps are we're going to hit advanced. I'm going to add a class, add BG blur. So this is the class that we're going to use whenever we're making some uh, CSS in our show it platform. And so let me show you exactly what that needs to look like. I'm going to go over to the home page. We'll click advanced settings and then I'm just going to do this right at the very top. So what was my class again? It was BG dash blur. So that's how we are targeting this specific element. Now what I want to do is I want to add a backdrop filter and our code editor just kind of finishes it for you. 
right? So this is saying we want this CSS property on this element. And what do we want it to do? We want it to blur for about 10 pixels, right? So then I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna hit preview. And then lo and behold, got a little blur background to our show it website. Just a really cool little feature. It's easy to do. And you can tell people that you coded your own website just by using it. So go check out the ability to add classes to elements. If you want this little filter, why don't you go down in the show notes, there'll be a link to sign up for it. We'll send it straight to your inbox so you can start using it. And hey, be prepared because we've got more tutorials like this coming. So make sure you like and subscribe this video. We'll see you soon.